Welcome back to Eco Cosmetics Lab. Today we'll be making a super simple and easy hair conditioner formula with only four ingredients. Most of the formula is water at 91%, and we'll be using distilled sterile water. Then we'll be adding an essential oil for scent and beneficial properties. I'm using rosemary, but you can use whatever you want. The natural preservative I'll be using today is globally approved with an excellent safety and toxicology profile. It performs best at a pH below 6, which is perfect since for our conditioner we want a lower pH of around 4 to 4.5. So the ingredient doing all the heavy lifting today is called G-Sperse Iced Tea CPCS, which translates to Instant Cold Emulsion Technology. It's also known as Ice Hair Restore. It's comprised of three ingredients which combine to improve the body and texture of hair, with excellent detangling, reducing frizz and static. So, the first step is to heat water to 55 or 60 degrees Celsius. It says you can use it cold, but I find the material doesn't readily dissolve at room temperature. We're using sterile water as we don't want additional metals and minerals added. So, once it gets to around 55 degrees Celsius, we turn it off and pour the water into the beaker as we want to be adding the powder to the water and not the other way around so that it doesn't clump. Make sure it's a heat safe beaker. So now we add the iced tea CPS gradually while stirring and you'll see how it thickens up nicely. So you, you emulsify it as you're going and then you just slowly keep adding the powders and start slowly getting thicker and then you'll see pretty much right here all of a sudden it's getting quite thick and it also becomes almost harder to stir if it's too thick so 7% is what you'd use for an insanely conditioning formula it almost makes it too thick, so I'd advise going closer to 5 or 6 percent. Yeah, just see how thick that is. It's so nice and creamy though. Next we'll be taking the temperature just to see what it's at and when we can add the preservative. So the next step is to weigh and add the preservative. The one we'll be using today is called Optifin Plus, and it's a natural preservative that offers effective protection against bacteria, yeast, and mold growth. It can be added at below 80 degrees Celsius, which is nice as not a lot of preservatives can handle heat. It's paraben and formaldehyde free and works really well with lower pH systems, which is perfect because that's what our conditioner is. It also imparts emolliency to finished formulations. Recommended use levels are between 0.75 and 1.5%, but today we'll be just using 1%. So we'll just want to give that a little stir before using the immersion blender again. So yeah, this is an insanely thick hair mask. It's such a nice, rich and creamy conditioner though. So step six is we're going to add our essential oil. So today I'm using rosemary as I really love that oil for the hair. But you can use any essential oil you'd like. Rosemary is really wonderful because it stimulates hair growth, improves circulation, and soothes the scalp. I'm also adding cypress as I really like it with rosemary and it has a really fresh scent. And it can also improve the condition of the scalp. It's considered a masculine fragrance, but I don't really think fragrances need to be gendered, so I just like it and it's really fresh and goes well with rosemary. So for adding the essential oils in, I'm just going to stir it by hand um, because yeah, it was getting pretty thick to use the immersion blender with. So just give that a really good stir. Incorporate it really well throughout. Just look how thick that is. And so we let it cool to room temperature. And now it's time to test the pH. So it should be between four and four and a half, um, but below five at least.
So now we're all done. So we can add it to our container. So I really like these containers from Voyager. They have them in white and black and they're plastic, but they're really easy to reuse and clean. Um, so I, I go through this pretty frequently so I can, um, yeah, you just clean it out really well, sterilize it, and then you can keep adding more to it um, or use it for multiple uses. And it's good in the shower because if it's glass, that's kind of dangerous to be landing in the bathtub. So um, I prefer to use plastic containers around my tub, but make sure you have ones that are really easy to clean and sterilize so that you can reuse them multiple times. So yeah, look at that. In no time at all, we've made our own amazing hair conditioner. So step one again is heating the water to around 55 to 60 degrees Celsius. Then we'll be adding some fun ingredients like hydrosols and actives. One thing I really love about adding hydrosols is they really enhance the scent factor and add even more benefit to the formula. So today we're making a scalp microbiome supporting formula with rosemary, peppermint and western red cedar hydrosol. So peppermint hydrosol is great for increasing circulation which promotes hair growth. I'm adding western red cedar for microbiome support and its wonderful scent properties. Next up we're adding glycerin as a nice humectant that helps condition the hair. We will be adding this at 5%. So just give that a stir to make sure the glycerin is incorporated with the other hydrosols. So while we're waiting for the water to cool a little bit, I'm going to start weighing our emulsifier blend, which is the same one as before, the iced tea CPCS. I'm adding a smaller amount this time and you'll see the dramatic difference in viscosity even a small change can make. In hindsight, I should have used a bigger spoon, but it's not as fun looking as the skull spoon. Again, like before, you want to add the hot water directly to the beaker before adding your powder. So now, with your homogenizer ready, you slowly start adding it in a small stream while, you, while blending. Add a bit at a time and you'll see, yeah, it starts to thicken up. And just keep blending, it'll take a little bit of time to all dissolve but just keep blending it and yeah you can already see that it's not quite thickening up as much as the other one because I added a smaller amount. And just scrape off the excess there. Give it a stir to get some from the sides. And we can blend it some more. You'll notice that it's less viscous than the earlier formula. It's not sticking to the sides as much. So now we're going to add all of our hydrosols and the glycerin. And give that another blend with the homogenizer. So once again, we're going to want to check the temperature of that. 
Today I'm using a different preservative and this one has to be below 40 degrees. So we'll just wait and once it's below 40 degrees Celsius, we're going to start adding our actives. Now we're adding some vitamin C for the hair. I really love quaternized lemon shine. It's a vegan, botanically derived lemon protein that binds to the hair shaft to improve shine and combability. I will say though, when you add this, um, it turns the formula, instead of being bright white, it will turn it slightly off-white. So give that a little stir. And yeah, you can see it changing color slightly, if that's a concern. Um, but I think it's worth it to have those properties. And once again, adding some rosemary essential oil just to boost that the scent factor. And once again, adding some more cypress. So I just added that in and gave it a stir. So the natural preservative I'm using this time is called Uxil PE 9010. It's natural broad spectrum and considered to be a mild preservative, but still highly effective. The amount to use is between 0.5 and 1%. So now just give that a good stir. And you can already see how much thinner it is than the one we made before. And this one actually might be better in a pump bottle, given how thin it is. Um, I added a bit more of the hydrosol than I intended to, so it actually turned out thinner than I was even expecting. Um, but it does thicken up over time. Like it'll thicken up a little bit more overnight while all the molecules settle in their proper place. So here are the black and white containers I was mentioning from Voyager. And I really like both of the colors and they're really good for the shower. Here is a conditioner formula we made previously. And just look how thick that is. When you turn it over, it doesn't even come out. Um, so it just shows the different ranges of viscosity you can achieve with minor adjustments to the original formula. So this one's easy enough just to pour in because it's, it's a lot less viscous. So I was able to just pour this one into the container. And so you can see the difference in how thin that one is compared to how thick that one is. You can also tell the color difference as the other one, so the one on the left uh, has is more beige. And once again, just like before, we will label it. I like to just list all the ingredients and I also like to add the pH and the date. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorials and I'll see you in the next episode.